It was somebody's birthday yesterday. <gasps> we ready? Sarah wants are we, are to sing we on? Happy birthday. Oh, no, oh no. we are on. They're just looking at us talk to each other. <laughs> Should okay. we sing happy birthday to little Michael? All right. So um, he's letting me hold him right now. So I got to We got to take our opportunity here. I think if we, I think if we do happy birthday as loud as we usually do happy birthday, he might freak out. But. If we do a kind of like golf happy birthday, we'll practice a golf happy birthday, all right? You know how there's a golf clap? Yeah. This is a golf happy birthday and we have to the Michael. Too, so Michael, are you one year old? Are you one year old yesterday? You are one year and a day? Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. That, that is a lot of days, Sarah. 66. <laughs> Good math. You Brain guys. power up here. All right. Happy All right, Jen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Michael. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Fantastic. <laughs> Can I do some announcements now? <laughs> He's just, he's so cute. I just heard someone down here say, it was worth driving in the rain to get here for that. Aw. That, that's perfect for you. If you want to sit there, front and center, great. Good morning, everybody. Good morning if you're watching online or later in the week. My name's Sarah. I help out around here with a couple different things. I'm the youth group when it's school time, and then serving on the leadership team. We're glad you're all here today. We're glad you all braved the rain to get here. Although our flowers really did need it. So uh, if we can Sarah, you also give a, second not well, <laughs> not well. You missed it, Joe. The ball hit my glove and still fell out on Friday. I don't know what happened. So disappointing. All right, so we're glad you're all here. So this upcoming weekend, we're camping at Bishop Lake State Park. I don't know if there's campsites available, but if you have a tent, I know you can still camp on my site. So if you have not signed up to camp and you would like to, let us know. There's a potluck for everybody to come to at five o'clock. We're in the lower loop. So when you come in, you just continue driving until it dead ends. We're down there by the lake. So it'd be great if you joined us for that. That's at five o'clock this Saturday. Um, you don't have to camp, but we have a bonfire and you get free food. Just, you know, if you bring like brownies or stop at the store and get a two liter of pop. We also have summer barbecues this summer. We've done a couple of them at Island Lake. This upcoming Tuesday is our last one. The, August 22nd yeah. is the last one. <laughs> that's also a potluck, right? Is that a potluck? Potluck, yeah. Yeah, that's a potluck. So again, bring your brownies or whatnot. Um, come join us for that. That's the last one of the season. So that kind of started off in lieu of men's and women's group meeting. That way the whole church is invited. Come and have more barbecue. Man, this church is really trying to fatten us all up. I can appreciate that, though. We also have our annual rummage sale on Labor Day weekend. We are starting to collect items for the sale. This is a great time to go through your basement or your attic and, and grab all those things that you don't need anymore. Um, you can put items in this. We have a new barn, a new garage. What do we call it? Pool barn. barn. Pool barn. I should know that. Back there, um, when you go in on the left-hand side, there's room for you to set stuff. Anything bigger that's going to take up a lot of space, you can bring the week of just directly to the church. And we need help. Linda, Linda wasn't going to run the rummage sale, where is she, this year. But Linda so chose to continue to run it for us. So we need, we need people to sign up to help Linda. Um, there's a sign up out by the welcome table. So make sure if you have any time, it doesn't have to be the whole time, but any time to stop in. We need a lot of muscle like to move stuff as well and organize. Yeah, to clean all sorts of, all sorts of different kind of people and talents we need help with. And our last announcement, I believe, is member preach. If you can picture yourself standing up here, maybe you can't because it's really kind of scary. Um, and I'm just being honest. So I've done it before, right? And what makes it even better is like Joe will stand up here and he'll be like, and welcome, whoever's coming to talk. And then everyone claps for you as you walk up. So if you weren't a little intimidated, you get really intimidated. <laughs> And, and then once you're up here for about 30 seconds, you look around and you're like, oh, these are all just great people and I'm just one of them. So there you go. So it's a great time. If it's, thank you. Yeah, thank you. If it's ever been on your heart to, to do member preach, just let Joe know. 
All right, see, that was great. I think that's it. Can we click the slide? Thank you. All right, it is our hope around here that you guys are all connected. You can do that by checking out our Facebook page, Crossroads Community Church. Um, info at ecrossroads.net is our email address. The welcome table out front. Um, it is just stay connected. If you have questions, let us know. We're glad you're here. Um, please, are we rising today? Yeah, wow, we are rising today. Please rise <laughs> for the call to worship. All right, good morning, everybody. Good to see you. All right, you guys read the big bold words with Teresa. As we gather today, we call you. Our Father, who art in heaven. As we gather today, we lift up who you are and what you represent. Hallowed be your name. As we gather today, we seek your ways, not our own. Your kingdom come, your will be done. As we gather today, we say sorry to you and to one another. Forgive us as we forgive. As we gather today, we need you. Give us this day our daily bread. Lead us away from temptation. Deliver us from evil. As we gather today, we pray and worship. Amen. All right, Grace. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, wait, I don't have capo. I need the capo. Mom, let's oh. there it is. Found right it. There. All right. We're getting our act together. <laughs> Search the world, but it couldn't fill me. Man's empty praise and treasures that fade are never enough. Then you came along, put me back together. Amen. You guys can grab a seat. 
Welcome to Crossroads. This is not a normal Sunday. If you're wondering why is there a 60-year-old man wearing a tie-dye shirt, <laughs> it's because it is Vacation Bible School week, and it's the one time, uh, the one time a year that uh, that I wear this. Well, I wore it during the week too. So um, you are here on Vacation Bible School Sunday, so you are going to hear. You're going to hear from the kids. And you are going to hear from Miss Shannon, our children's minister, who does a fantastic job. It has, it has been an amazing week. We are going to take our offering now. And as we do, uh, please, we'd like this to be a place of freedom. So feel no obligation to participate in this part of the service. Especially if you are visiting with us. Sarah's going to start the baskets in front. And then she will collect them from you in the back. And... We always reflect on the words of Scripture as, uh, as we do this. And uh, hang on just one second. Is that better, Bill? Are you hearing me now? B- kind of, sort of? In and out? Um, all right. They're, they're getting you another pair. They're going to get you another pair. Try, try those. Um, all right. So we reflect on these. This is... The day of Pentecost, there's a guy by the name of Peter, and Peter gives this beautiful sermon, and all sorts of people are moved by the sermon, and they want to they want to give their lives to Christ, and they want to follow Jesus, and they say, so what do we do? And Peter says, be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus, and you will receive the Holy Spirit. Then here's the next thing they did. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. So there was actions that took place. There was movement that happened. And it was <clears throat> a really, every week it's, it's an honor to be a pastor, one of the pastors at this church, but it was just a really cool week uh, to be the pastor of this church. And I, just all the stuff that happened was incredible. So last week, I asked you to pray for a woman by the name of Sherry Scott. I asked you to pray because she had fallen. She's in her, you know, early 80s. And, you know, when you have a fall in your early 80s, that can result in some things. So Sherry, you know, she had surgery on her arm, on her shoulder. Sherry runs our meals at City Covenant. First thing Sherry probably watched before the EMS even got there. Am I right? It is true. Before the EMS even got there, it was... How are we going to do City Covenant? (laughs) Sherry coordinates our monthly meal, the City Covenant Church. So there are huge, I mean, it's a whole meal that feeds all these people and gives their workers a break. Sherry takes it very seriously. And so after church last week, all you people who participate in that ministry were bombarding me. Hey, I can, I can do my part. 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 So on Thursday, the meal went down to City Covenant, didn't miss a beat. All right? Everybody just jumped up, and the ministry, and the ministry happened. So then, another beautiful thing about this church, Sherry is always giving to everybody, right? She just gives, gives, gives. That's Sherry's story. So... You know, you're in your early 80s, and they put, you have a broken, you know, like your shoulder just had surgery, your arm's broken, you're in a sling like this. How do you get out of your rocker? How do you get up from a chair? So the people of the church, people of the church just got together and bought her one of those chairs that you push a button, and it makes you stand. So then I got the joy of, path, of delivering that to her on Friday. We didn't tell her that City Covenant happened. So she's like, so she finally asked the question, like, Joe, what happened with City Covenant? And I just, <laughs> Sherry went off without a hitch. You know why it went off without a hitch? Because you're an amazing leader, and everybody knew exactly what to do, and it just happened. That's the church being the church. Now, most of today, we're going to talk about this, Vacation Bible School. But when you're the church, it goes out and it glows. And that's just one 
that city covenant is just one example. I was at Pickleball Monday night. And we had all these people come to Pickleball. Some people have come to our church because like, I'm looking for a church. I'm looking for Pickleball. Seems like a good match. <laughs> Okay, so, so, so Monday night, I'm at Pickleball. There's a couple like that, you know, who, who was looking for that, and they're like, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll come check you guys out. And, but there's another couple from another church who comes, and they hang out with us. And they're like, because they've been coming to Pickleball, and like every Monday at Pickleball, there's just like people everywhere and most of the time, you're not even playing pickleball. You're just hanging out and catching up on life and, and being friends. This person from this other church is like, how many, how many people go to your church? And I'm like, well, you know, post-COVID, there's like a, it's like 150, and then we got a bunch of people online. She goes, and then she looks around. She goes, and all these people come to pickleball? I'm like, we just kind of like to party. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> we just like that, right? Just, just bring a pot of beans and hot dogs and off we go. So, but, 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 that's the church being the church. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to hanging out and being together and loving each other up so that when you fall and break your arm, and need shoulder surgery, suddenly you got a team of people who are right there next to you. I mean, that's the church, guys. Thank you for being the church. Now, this week, the church was all these little kids, and this is not a normal service, so you're going to see these little kids in action, some of whom are ready to get up here right now, <laughs> right this second, walk up those stairs, Stand next to Miss Teresa. She's not leading you in the game today. She is leading you in, I'm serious, you can move now. Yep. <laughs> Get on up there. You guys had no problem singing. You guys had no problem singing earlier this week. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> If we, can we, we don't need that stand anymore, right? So these songs, these, these, these songs are put together by Jen, the one, if you're a John Denver fan, you will, you'll, you'll recognize, uh, but the other two. The other two that you'll hear this morning are, are from uh, Jen. So you one. Did I, I was just doing two total, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but they're, they're in the videos. Yeah, yeah. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. All right, look how great you guys look. Yay! That is, that is All right, we can't see Brock. I can't see Brock. Who else? I guess if I can't see you, I can't see you. All right. Okay, you guys ready? You're going to sing along with them? I mean, sing quietly so we can hear them more. Just saying. You guys usually sound great, but the golf singing. Which one are we doing first? Take me home. All right, take me home. You ready, Tony? All right, sorry. I was just making sure I was plugged in. Sorry, we'll start over. All right, ready? All right, you guys ready? Remember this one? You made the heavens and the earth, all the mountains and all the rivers. Life is good here in Legoland. All God's children together, hand in hand. Oh my Lord, oh my Lord, take me home, take me home. to your grave. You made the heaven.
your grace. I belong, I belong in your kingdom. All right, and Mike, you ready for the other one? But don't start it yet. So we're doing oh snap. Okay. All right, so we got a, we got some a lot of movement in this song. You're gonna go down and. All right. You guys remember the movements? You can put the other one back for her. That one left one. Um, let me think. What do we have to do here? You guys can help us by snapping. So when we say like the snap, snap, snap of a Lego, you guys can snap. Ready, everybody? Sna nah, one more time. All right, good. And then we're going to say, when they say we're going to grow, 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 you can put your hands up like grow, grow, grow. And then you can bow out of the yellow, green, red, blue thing because they got that really good. And then that's about it. The rest of it, they'll show you. Are you guys ready to teach them? Let's scooch over, Grace, so they can get a little straight. We got to get more kids up in the front a little bit here so you can see them. You guys want to scooch up? Scooch up. All right. All right, you guys ready? Right, does everybody have enough room to go down and show the strong thing? Okay, all right. Okay. I think we're ready. And you can dance if you feel like it. Just wiggle, wiggle around. Do your thing. Don't knock anybody over, please. Yeah. This is where I could start throwing the ball around the room. Yeah, do it. Go! All over my life. I think we got three out of that. <laughs> Oops, are you able to restart it or no? Snap, 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 Yellow. Green. Red. Blue. See? Let's build.
imagine twice as many of them screaming yellow red. That was a little, woo. Fun. All right, you guys, thank you. You can go grab a seat. You ready? Oh, Michael, or here, give me, give me your, what's a mic I can, yeah. And then um, Michaela and Zach and Zoe, just go, just stay up. You can just come right here. Okay, so we have been in the building for a little while now, and as soon as we moved into the building, we did vacation Bible school. And how big were these three? I think Michaela and Zoe were maybe four and five, or or was it two, three, and four? Okay, so two, yeah. Two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. And they Zoe keep Jones. coming back, and they have not That's missed stopped. a vacation nope. Bible school yet. <laughs> Our, so I, I want to say, you got, well... I want to say one thing. So a lot of you guys in the congregation who were here six years ago, when you heard we were doing Legos again, you were very afraid <laughs> because you remember the aftermath of doing Legos six years ago was we literally were here for over a month putting the Legos away. Did you notice when you walked in that all the Legos are away. Yes. <laughs> and Mary was like, yes. I remember you, all those coming, just coming in, putting Legos away, putting Legos away. So, one, Shannon and her just did a phenomenal job getting organized. Two, Lego Master. And apparently, her kids now have to call her Lego Master Mom. <laughs> Megan in the back was our Lego Master. And there were so many people who helped, but one of the guys who's going to do the final piece, and then we're going to put it in the trailer and get it out of here, we've got one little more job for Zach, who truly is, no offense, Meg, who truly is a Lego master. <laughs> so he's going to do a little cleanup for us, and then we're going to throw it on the trailer and, and get it back. So, uh, so for those of you who are like, is this the part where he's going to ask us to show up? every Saturday for the next eight weeks? No. <laughs> you can thank all these guys right here. All right. <clears throat> We're not getting through this whole thing without crying. <laughs> all right, so what... All right, let me just say that as Ella walks forward and Grace is sitting there next to her. Like, I'm jumping ahead in the script. I won't do that. How about, because I was going to do the how the one looks up to the other, looks up to the other, but it's coming. All right. So let's, first we want to start, we are going to, most, we're going to show you a lot of pictures today, uh, just so you can see it. We've broken them down into four, uh, four little videos, but this one will kick off, and then Shannon and I are going to talk a little bit between the videos. But let's do, uh, can we do video A, please, VBS video A, to get, to get us started out so you guys can get a feel for what this past week looked like around here.
All right, so that so this first one, that's Shannon's, one of Shannon's favorite verses, and she'll tell the kids when she teaches it to them, one of their favorite verses. Let your light shine so that others can see it, then they will see the good things you do, and they will bring glory to your Father who is in heaven. So that, that was just happening all, all week long. Did you notice, um, you know, I know we were, we were bouncing around the, the beach ball, did you notice how the beach balls are going up in the air? And then did you notice how the projector is a little shifted that way? <laughs> we'll get that fixed for you this week, right, along with some of the lights. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, that's, that's impressive, actually. <laughs> The ball. Oh, okay. trying to get that out. So oh, that out. okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So, hey, we like to say this place gets used all the time in all sorts of ways, right? And that's just an example. So let's start with this. We ended that one with they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching. So, just talk to us about the teaching that goes on here, the teaching that you do, you know, and just yeah. Kelly and the whole the whole crew, yeah. All right, so we try to relate the theme to uh, biblical principles, and we broke each day um, had its own building theme. So these all it's are... in your it's in your program. All like the daily Bible verses and stuff are are in there. Yeah, so you've got I don't have them. To say a lot, but okay. Yeah. So the first day was uh, building a strong foundation. We presented the our faith in simple terms. Um, most of the kids that are at VBS go to our church, and it's not the first time they've heard it, but there are some. It may be the first time that they hear uh, what our faith is all about. So we break it down real super simple, and then we talked a lot about um, you know, how, how to build a strong faith. What does it mean to build on the rock? Um, and basically, we just said, look, you can build your life on the shifting culture, the shifting sands of the culture, and what it thinks is important or you can build your life on what God says is true. And mm -hmm. that is, of course, what we encourage them to do. Uh, and then there was a game during that day where <laughs> it was fun because uh, Melissa Kirk and Teresa Philbin were in charge of the games this week. And I, I gave them the instructions and I told them, don't tell them how to play. Just say, One, two, on the count of three, here's a ball, go. And so they were like, wait, what? They're all looking <laughs> what, at each happening? other. You it know, was you very you cute. Didn't, you missed it. You know, like you didn't tell us what to do. Well, okay, so how do we find out how to be a Christian? How do we find out um, what God wants us to do? Well, we have this thing, the Bible, you know, and uh, so we went through the Ten Commandments with that particular exercise, but that, you know, all of all of how we, it's like our instruction manual, if you use Lego terms. Legos come with these elaborate instruction manuals. The Bible is our instruction manual. So that was day one. Um, day two was building the body of Christ and what that looks like. Uh, we talked a lot about uh, individual gifts that we've been given. Uh, we talked about, you know, in, in kid terms, we talked about, like, um, are you good at math? Are you good at sports? Are you the kid that the teacher looks to to help uh, get a new kid acclimated and have friends? Are you someone who is super patient with younger kids. You know, we talked about all these different things that we do well or don't do well and how when we come together and live in those things, do those things that we've been gifted with, that it is a beautiful picture of how God plans for our church to work. And um, we talked a lot about the, the body of Christ, the, the church, not so much a building, but the people. Um, that are, all are valuable, and when we work together, that's when it's working best. That was day two. So day three was all about building strong friendships. That also was our water day. So uh, we <laughs> talked about clothing ourselves in kindness and meekness and humility and all that stuff. And where that went into play is we had them playing water games and stuff. And sometimes, like there was this one particular water game where they're all standing in a line, 
And they, there was a full bucket at the front of the line and an empty bucket at the back of the line. And the first person scoops up the water, pours it to the next person. And if that person's not ready, they get a head full of water mm. <laughs> where we were like, oh, clothe yourself in love and humility and all that <laughs> stuff and forgiveness. <laughs> so, you know, that's, that's where that played in, you know, just showing kindness. And, and then we use the Lego theme like click and connect and stay together through hard times, good times, all those times. That was the theme for, for Wednesday. On day four, it was building our mission. We talked about how um, the Lord wants us to not only know his word uh, and learn it and feel it, but to act on it. So it was an action day. Um, we talked about the church's uh, mission statement and what it means, broke it down, talked to them about it, uh, and then um, encouraged them to respond with action. Uh, be that person who holds the door. Be that person who allows someone else to go first. Be that person who puts love into action. And then day five, we talked about building the community uh, in the early Acts church. We talked about that uh, and the importance of attending church and learning and um, communing together as a group of believers and inviting and that the power of the invitation we had a lot of kids well not a lot of kids most of the kids that come to VBS are crossroads kids but crossroads kids will invite friends and sometimes they come from other churches because they're friends from school or whatnot but sometimes they're kids that just never go to church so that's super cool to see and we encourage them to do that um, and then we just worshiped prayed served we started the Lego sorting yeah and celebrated together that day that was it in a nutshell. Yeah, it was. It was a lot. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna come back to this teaching component when we get to fellowship because some of the teaching really happens as the kids are just wa as the younger kids are watching the older kids. So let's uh, let's keep going with the. Uh, so let's do video B now, and we'll show you a couple more minutes of VBS in action. Stop. 
All right, so we turn that now, okay, so we talked about the teaching, and, and teaching is part of this fellowship, how you've got it all designed, but talk to us about, like, just the intergenerational structure and how you've got that set up and, and how that all works. Right, well, that, uh, when I go back to 16 years ago, there were just a handful of adults. I was actually working um, when we, well, let me just give you the, the breakdown of a day at VBS. They usually come in all together. We worship, uh, we set them off, and then they break up into different groups and move about these stations. I used to have to work a station, so to run it all and to do that, that was hard. Um, but we've gotten much bigger and... Okay, the, tell them what happened this year, because I don't think this has happened in the history of I children's literally, ministry. literally had more volunteers than we needed, and I was saying, look, don't take a day off of work for it. <laughs> we got it covered. Okay, um, that, that might be the history of children's ministry in any, any church, church in the yeah. world, yeah, that they had too enough. many volunteers. Yeah, no. That never happens anywhere. Go ahead. No, 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 it's good. No, so that, you know, you got, you got grandmas that are coming and taking yeah. weeks off of work. You got people flying up from South Carolina to come up. <laughs> yeah. You know, like it's crazy. It's so, so, so amazing. And uh, my kids grew up going here and experiencing that at, just like these kids have. And then to see them turn around and pour back in. Yeah, it's That's beautiful. where I'll lose it. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is amazing, and and honestly, I think, I think the teenagers probably look forward to it just as much, if not more, than the, <laughs> the kids, because they know what it's all about, and yeah. that they still want to be here doing that is truly a beautiful, beautiful thing. Literally, all but two, I think, of the kids that that volunteer teens. I'm talking like middle school and high school. All but two of them have grown up here. Yeah, and they're. They're here every year. Mm -hmm. and they just keep on doing it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, some some are more ready to lead than others, but it's it's kind of an opportunity for us to raise leaders that week. And so, you know, there's some instruction that happens along the way uh, with them, but it's, it's, it's a privilege. Yeah. And it's so cool to watch it all unfold. To me, it is when you have the littles all the way to the adults and the grandmas, that is like, that is church. That's church. Yeah. For me, that's that's that really hits it. So. And it's beautiful to see, like, each generation looks up to the kids who are just over them. So those elementary kids are looking up to those middle schoolers who are looking up to the high schoolers and just the connections that are built. And like you say, then they then they come back. It's It's phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. I get people like at the last couple of days, people will ask, "What's the next theme?" I'm like, oh yeah. my word, I have to just make it through the rest of this week. Can and I? I will think about can that, I sleep for a night? Colors are we gonna have? No, I have no yeah. yeah, it's amazing. That's so, cool. All right, should we show them the next video? You want want more to say on fellowship? I got nothing. Okay. <laughs> well, I I do want to. So let's just hit this really quickly, like. Okay. You do a, just such a beautiful job of knowing where to, you know, might not have to say anything to this, but one of the things Shannon's really good at is she does a beautiful job of putting groups together. So you have these intergenerational groups, like I say, from kindergarten or first grader all the way up to a high school senior, and every one of them clicks yeah, there's yeah. a lot of thought. I was got, yeah, 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 yeah. Take some credit because you deserve it. Yeah, there's a lot of thought, <laughs> a lot of planning, a lot of praying over how I divvy up the groups. Uh, last year, I did it in a different way because of the nature of our theme. It was very, um, some people thought it was sporty. So we made the teams accordingly so that you didn't have some kids on the team getting mad at other kids on the team. You know, like there's yeah. just, there's a lot that goes into it. It's a lot of personalities put together. These teams are 15 kids uh, going into first grade through sixth grade plus teenagers, four teenagers. So you're talking just under 20 people that have to get along for a full week. So there's a lot, and you know, four and, of them. and you know, some kids, you know, the mixes of kids, there's some mixes that aren't as, uh, 
I don't know, productive or something, or I don't know. Just You just know, as somebody who knows the kids, you know what works and what doesn't, and you try to you know, plan accordingly. And it, it mostly works. It mostly works. It does. And, it, you know, you think of all, when you look at this place and you see all the decorations, you think of the, oh, my gosh, Shannon is doing so much. But, you, but we don't think of that thing, like all the time and energy spent. How am I going to put these? And you see these kids, you see these groups. Holy cow, are they tight? And they're just one, and they're just having a blast together. It's because of the front end work praying over it, looking at it, and it's from the years of experience knowing the kids. Yes. So, it, yeah, so it's, all right. So while we wipe our eyes, show us uh, number three, <laughs> or C. <laughs> We're back to snapping, if you probably know it by now. <laughs> yeah, YouTube, it gets shut down by YouTube. <laughs> All right. Um, that third one, then, it, the verse I put down there is, it, we're moving off a few verses down that from there, right? This is how that little chapter of Acts ends. Uh, and praising God, the people were praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. So before you go, somebody told me from the last service, uh, so I live, um, I'll call it by its proper name. I live in Colonial Lakers, which is where us old people in the community live. <laughs> I got some of you pointing and saying, don't say it. <laughs> but uh, somebody in the first service said, like four of her neighbors said to her, what is going on at your church this week? Because those people look like they're having some fun. And it what happens is, go to that, let your light shine before others. So it's impacting in the whole community. 
right? And it goes beyond, you talk about, yeah, it's mostly our kids from church, but then there's other kids. And then there's these other rings that get involved. So talk to us about just the impact of this thing. You can start with the community care fundraiser if you want. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we talked to the kids about the Crossroads Community Care Fund, uh, which gives, you know, uh, grocery cards to people that are struggling to make ends meet, helps pay people's heat bills right here in our community. Talk to the kids a lot about that and that when we pool together, you know, the little kids, what do they have? You know, they have some spare change or whatnot. They raised, like... It, throughout the course of the week, well, it turns into a competition, too. We, I, it just always does. I don't know. There was a, two little Lego heads, a girl one and a guy one. And so then it became a boys against the girls who was going to raise the most money in the five days. And we, I, Marin probably has the final numbers. I want to say it was in the neighborhood of $230, $40. Something mm. like that, yeah. So... Mm. The girls won, but it was a very narrow margin, <laughs> so it was good. Uh, so that was kind of cool, just kind of see, help, hopefully connecting with them that even, even if they just do a small part, it becomes something bigger. Uh, you know, and then the, the inviting of their friends is super cool. I had, on the water day when we came back, and I, it was a great day. Water day, water day was, day was very really cool. fun. Wednesday's always water day, <laughs> and we had this foam blasting machine that was amazing. <laughs> I don't know if we can not have it now. I know. So yeah. Shannon calls, and she says, I got to say it this way because we got finance people on the finance team in the room, but she's like, man, I really want to get this foam thing. It's expensive. I said, thank Don. Some of you remember our good buddy, Don Furman, who gave his estate to the church, and so... I don't know that we're going to have down this money next year, but we'll figure out a way to get <laughs> to get the foam. The kids had a blast, and the, the foam was amazing. Well, anyway, we come in from that, the playing outside in the water, and the kids uh, were coming in getting an ice cream sundae, and there was a kid that was invited. I don't know. How old is Dorothy? Like eight, seven, eight? Yeah. Okay, she comes in. She doesn't go to our church. I don't know if she goes to church, but she comes in. She sits down. She goes, that was the best day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. Come up here. Yeah. So it's just, full I know, just come up here because there's people online who. <laughs> okay. No, say it. Repeat that so people at home. Okay. So the kid that had the best day of her life, her parents went to school with Jesse, and it's this great big community thing that's now happened. Because they the Walkers also invited the Vermilions. Is that how I say it? These two young boys, one's going into fifth grade, one's going into sixth grade, good buddies of Arians. Uh, they they were so fun this week. And I don't know if they go to church either, but they were so excited to be here. Colton was wiped out by Thursday, could not come back. But <laughs> Chase was here the whole week, and I talked to him on the last day, and I just told him, you know, because now he's youth group age. I said, you know, we, we've we enjoyed having you here this week, and we would love to see you back. He said, I want to come back. So yeah. you guys keep inviting, keep inviting. That is how we grow our community uh, is how we grow the kingdom. Because really, we called it community building, but it was kingdom building. Yeah, it's kingdom building. It's absolutely yeah. kingdom building. Yeah, yeah. Marin, you got something? <laughs> That's what Again, yes. repeat that because there's okay. people at home. Go so, ahead. So <laughs> Chase and Colton were friends. Uh, Chase and Colton's parents were friends of Marin's. And that, but you didn't invite them. They came through the walk. Yeah. 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 Okay. So basically our kingdom building is word of mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, no, it really is. We don't put a b banner on the side of the road, and I know sometimes I feel really bad about that. But there's no more room, though. There's Shannon. no more room, and yeah. you know, we, we when we when we do VBS every year, I feel like we there, we have to be realistic. We have a limit. We have so much space, so many volunteers. Yeah, and it's okay to have that kind of limit. 
but the kingdom building's still happening. Yeah. I guess that's our point. Uh, you know, and then there are a group of girls. Uh, they're friends of Ellie's. They've been coming since they were young. They are some of the best leaders we have yeah. going forward. I mean, Abby, we're, hopefully Aubrey, we're not solid. losing Michaela and Zach and, and Zoe, <laughs> but but we we have like the next fleet of amazing Zach, yeah. Michaela's, yeah, and Zoe's yeah, yeah. right there in the wings, and they don't go to this church at all. So it's it's incredible. It's really cool. So I, and yeah, and then Spencer was one. There you go. So so Spencer is a seventh grader, going in seventh grade. Kid going into seventh grade, doesn't know anyone but, like, Aiden and Logan, maybe. Um, coming from a homeschool group, co-op type group, he volunteered. Walks in on day one, knows basically no one. And, uh, you know, you could tell in the first couple of days that he was pretty quiet. But he, by the end, he was right in it. Oh, and yeah. Teresa said that he's coming back next year. So that's, that's awesome. And he goes to another church, but that's so what? It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. So one brag on, on Shannon for just a second. So the other thing that happens, one of the reasons why the Legos were such a mess six years ago is because we tried to integrate the daycare, and then we realized you can't have that little of kids with that much Lego. That's just not healthy for bad anybody. Idea. It's a really bad idea, and I take full responsibility for that bad idea. <laughs> Again, I should just defer to Shannon as help, right? But what happens with the daycare kids is they see what's going on and then they do want to come to VBS because they think it's, you know, they see all the fun the kids are having. So, so one of the kids who was here this year, Madison, her mom is a professor of early childhood education at Michigan State University. So this woman understands littles and how you teach them. And she was blown away by what was happening here and how the kids were taught and all the intergenerational stuff and she just thought it was fantastic. So that is a testament to, to you and, and to all you do. You want to say anything else on this last one? Yeah, I think yeah. just when we do VBS, it all, all I really want to happen is that the kids Maybe not. Maybe they don't remember the details of what we did on day one, two, three, four, five. You know, maybe they don't remember that stuff, but they remember that they were known and they were loved. Yeah. And that they have a place. That's it. You know, it seems like a little thing, but like look on the back of the shirts as the kids are leaving, you know. It's so cool on Friday morning. I, I, how many years have we been doing this? I still haven't figured out how to write on a shirt. You look at mine. <laughs> It looks like a kindergartner wrote it, but, but it's beautiful because ev the kids are signing each other's shirts, and what they're saying is, you belong. I'm with you. We're on the same team. You're my friend. And it is, oh my gosh, that first, whatever it is, 10, 15 minutes on Friday morning is just beautiful. We're going to show it to you in one second. You're good? All right. Don't lose it if I say anymore. Yeah, yeah, I already did. All right, so uh, last video, and then we'll get you guys out of here. Are we having a trouble with this one, or is it? <laughs> I mean, are we like a minute or five minutes? Oh, yeah. Uh, but, but would you come up and hold up? Because we got people at home. Uh, come on, Mary. You can do it. This is one of the people who six years ago was here every weekend putting Legos away and still came back with, and brought her grandkids this year. <laughs> I just wanted to say when they were talking about intergenerational, my grandkids come with me, and Ellie, the youngest, is five, and she remembered every message when she came about building a strong foundation, and my other grandkids too, but mostly her. Lincoln came too, he's 10. Jackson is now in youth group. Yesterday I took Ellie to, or Friday, to my mom's house. My mom's 96. 
Ellie came with me to see great grandma and brought her prayer box. They made a box and they put all the pictures in it of the kids, correct? Everyone and the leaders. Ellie said, this is my prayer box. I have to pray for these people every day. And she told my mom about the rock and growing. And I just thought, here's, my mom's 96, she's five. And they praise the same God, and they all understand it. And yeah. I just, that just killed me. I thought yeah. it was wonderful. Yeah. And I want to thank every one of you guys. You did such a great job. These kids, they carry it with them. You know, even my grandson, who's now going into eighth grade, he still he was going to come, but he couldn't make it. Mm. But anyways, he, they carry it with them. It's not just for the week. Yeah. They get it. She's got her little Lego picture of her group on her bedside stand. Yeah. and said, those are my people. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> it works. <laughs> well, we're going to get a video so we can... Is it ready? Wait, can I say one thing real quick? Yeah. Asher was there. And he was you have to read the Bible. <laughs> Asher's little brother's like four. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're not taking a second offering. <laughs> there we go.
All right, kids, before we pray this out, uh, is there any kid who's got something? That, I know you're all tired because it was a long week, but if there's any kid who wants to say something, we're, uh, we wanted to give you a chance. Come on up, Aiden. This is Aiden. This was the best week ever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Aiden. <laughs> You got to come up, sweetheart. Kayla's, Kayla's graduating. She's going to be the next row of leaders. Leaders, yeah. Is there pictures of us pieing the... Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. There are many pictures this is of, of us, you, pie, of you getting, pieing yeah. people. Yeah. This is, I had the hard job, Aiden. I, you're a good man because Aiden, for all the years, figured out what pictures. There's so many pictures. I did it this year and... That's a hard job. So I didn't have the pies in because we were, we were running, out, running out of time. Uh, Max, come on up real quick, bud. Next we got Max. Eli, if you want to come up, come up behind Max, okay? And then... Uh, I thought it was cool how um, we could make Legos fit in with the Bible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well said. Finn, come on up, Finn. That was an awesome week. All right. <laughs> Finn does a, an incredible Miss Shannon impression. Maybe we can end with that today. Yeah. All right, if you, you, you tell us what you were going to say? I think we were going to say that. Oh, was he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll hold you for a moment. Hold, come, come, come here for a second. Come on. Come on up. Yes. Can we see the TikTok videos? <laughs> Good question, Mike. Can we see those before we go? All right. While he's looking for that, Will? Today was one of the funnest days I've ever had. Yeah. Oh, I'm so <laughs> well, this week. Yeah. This whole week. Now, Will does not go to our church, but he came this week, and we were so glad he did. He brought his cousin. Yep. <laughs> All right, dude. No pressure. We made you stand up here all that time. Go all ahead. Right. Every day, hold on. Every day in the morning to get our energy flowing, I come in here and give a, a big old good morning crossroads, super loud, so much my head gets a little dizzy for a moment. <laughs> but Finn, I heard Finn when we were cleaning up out there on Friday, he was doing his own version. So this is how we're closing it out. Now, crossroads, you have to respond. You have to respond. Good morning. Finn. Finn. Okay. <laughs> it's easy. Right, here we go. Morning, Miss Shannon. Good morning, Crossroads. <laughs> Good morning, Finn. <laughs> All right. All right. We're going to let Shannon pray us out. She wasn't sure if she could do it. She's got it. Yeah, there you go. I can hit it. But after yeah, the dancing yeah. videos, I can handle it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what are you guys doing? It's like the free throw. What's that? Oh. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Hands in the air. Yeah. Bring them together. There. Put them down. Here we go. Bow your heads. Close your eyes. Lord and Holy Father, we thank you for a church that loves and supports the next generation. We just pray that uh, these seeds that have been planted will grow and grow and glorify you. And we just ask all these things in your precious name. And all God's people shouted to the ceiling. Amen. God bless you guys. Have a great week.